It's also relatively easy to uh, hit uh, an enemy uh, over distance, even with a, uh, an assault rifle, as you can see here. Hi everyone, Gaz here. How you doing? Something a bit different then this week. Clownfield 2042, which, if you don't know, is a parody of Battlefield 2042. A parody, of course, being a humorously exaggerated imitation. In other words, a complete piss take. <laughs> so this video is dedicated to our very own Firestorm, who will appreciate this more than most, not only for his love of Battlefield, but his feet being so large that they resemble clown shoes. Developed by uh, Riverside Sports, uh, based out of Riverside, California, known for its controversial titles such as Fuck the Police and Boomer Remover, uh, this FPS is available on Steam for only 79 pence. The description then on uh, Steam tells us that um, we've taken on the role of a non-clown and uh, after the uh, crypto crash of 2022 uh, caused by NFTs, uh, non-fungible tokens, the majority of nations have collapsed and a new union of no clowns has been formed. Sound familiar? Going into the game then, the uh, humour starts straight away with the uh, clown boat and uh, I like the, uh, here's the ship that you'll only see in the loading screen. <laughs> Funny. There are three game types then, hovercraft zone, gateway and what they like to call clown fair which is the multiplayer option. At this point in the development only uh, the clown fair and hovercraft modes appear to be actually working and we'll come to the hovercraft bit later because it obviously still needs a bit of work by the looks of it. As we go into multiplayer then the uh, battlefield jives continue when we look at the uh, if you continue to pre-order we're going to continue putting less work into our future games. <laughs> multiplayer then got the option to browse games, host a game and the lobby so browse games you can see what's currently running Host game then is to host it yourself and then in the lobby we can see that we've got four game types or modes, uh, deathmatch, team deathmatch, domination and gun game. Although every time I've actually gone into this it's actually showed nobody actually online or how many games are actually playing. So I've always had to go in via the uh, browser. There are about I think seven maps at the moment uh, currently uh, released and uh, at the end of each um, game you do get the option to choose a number of um, modes or maps so in this particular case we're going into Fallujah team deathmatch and then we get to uh, select our team as well so we're going to go in as the uh, USA and we're going to have spawn you get a nice uh, five seconds as well spawn protection uh, which is pretty good one thing that is already really annoying is the uh, footsteps and <laughs> it just drives you insane after a while it's like torture. <laughs> the uh, low poly graphics don't really detract uh, from the gameplay which is surprisingly uh, good. Continuing the uh, theme of the uh, comical element of the game, uh, you've got things like here you can see there's a uh, balloon sword which is a, a melee weapon. Nice little touch. As at the uh, 4th of February uh, and release 1.7.0, uh, there has actually been an update to the anti-cheat system, um, which is the second part, I believe, uh, which now makes that a little bit better, although sadly you're always going to get those cheaters. Some of the maps like this one are surprisingly big um, and they can actually be filled up with uh, AI as well, so that's something to uh, notice, I think. Um, I was uh, playing on there and I thought, oh, who am I playing with? I looked at the pings and all the pings were pretty much zero and uh, it was just me and one other guy, so just be warned. The 
There is uh, more detail than you would first uh, think with the uh, graphics, some of the paintings and things like that. There you go, there's one there I think of uh, Saddam Hussein probably, <laughs> which is uh, funny. Um, aiming as well, aiming's a bit sketchy in my book. Um, you think you got it in locked on, but no, and then you get trouble with things like this, trying to get over walls as well. Um, so the movement's not great, you eventually get there. Uh, I've tried going up a number of like ladders as well, and that doesn't seem to work. Um, so I don't know if you can't, or <laughs> whether I was doing it wrong, but you just don't seem to be able to uh, do certain things. But on the whole, you know, for what it is, it's uh, quite good really. I've noticed that the uh, respawn as well um, puts you at an unfair advantage at times like there you see he shot me and then I've come back directly behind him and was able to get my uh, revenge. Another thing to look out for is the old stun grenade. I'll tell you something, that done that hurt your ears, that shriek when you've got your headphones on. So just be warned there. <laughs> It's also relatively easy to uh, hit uh, an enemy uh, over distance, even with a, uh, an assault rifle, as you can see here. There are a uh, number of glitches uh, in the game itself, uh, one of which is in the uh, World War II map. So if you go to the sentry post here... oh. Look, you end up disappearing underneath the map. I actually worked to my advantage as this guy was after me, as you can see. And uh, I just thought, oh, I'll just swim around here for a bit out of the way. He was looking, looking, looking. He knew I was around there somewhere. And then uh, I just managed to uh, pop up and get him. takes me back to the good old days of Unreal Tournament where you could make your own maps and uh, there was plenty of glitches like this. Hilarious. To finish then we have the Hovercraft Zone and uh, as I say we've got a little bit more comedy going on here. This loading screen looks pretty dope, huh? <laughs> um, so really what's all this about? Well, I think again, another piss take out of Battlefield. It's the hovercraft that uh, seems to be able to defy logic and go up the side of buildings and various things. Well, I tried it in this. Uh, incidentally, there is actually no music with this actually in the game. It's just completely silent. Um, so I added a bit of music, as you can as you can hear. Um, but uh, as I say, what the point of this is at this moment in time, I'm not sure. Um, you just got this, uh, as I say, this just random map um, with uh, a fireplace, um, and uh, well, <laughs> there's not, not much else on here really. But uh, I did manage to turn the thing upside down, so uh, see what you think. I got out of it eventually. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.
I'm going to give the game then a gasometer rating of, wait for it, 6 out of 10. It's strangely addictive and currently it's got better Steam reviews on average than um, Battlefield 2042 does. And I think that is indicative of how disappointing Battlefield 2042 was for most people. <laughs> There you go guys, that brings us to the end of the video, at least I've escaped that awful map and uh, now I'm heading off in my hovercraft into the sunset. Thanks very much for watching and overdosing on gas, I'll see you next time or maybe even in game.